Then the other way you can do is export them to Excel and use Excel to put them all on one PDF file. So that's what we'll do now one more time. I know this is getting tedious. I'm going to go into the balance sheet. Let's do this again. This is going to go from 010123 to 022823. Let's run it. And then I'm just going to export it to a Excel file and use Excel this time. I'll drag that into my worksheet over here. I'll drag that into my worksheet. Boom, drag it. Took the thing by its by its hair and just dragged it into my Excel <laughs> worksheet. I'm gonna right click and rename it. And this is gonna be reports month, month two, I'm gonna say. And then I'll open that up and just, and now I can do some added formatting if I wanted to do any added formatting outside of what I can do in QuickBooks. I won't go into too much detail, but I'm just gonna say, let's go to this side, this side. There's the end of the report. So I might make this large enough so it fits on one page like that or something. And then I'm just gonna do some standard editing just so you can see like some quick editing you might do. You might make this tab a little smaller. You might put some underlines here like this way. You might say, I want the, these underlines like that. And then maybe, maybe you want a double underline under this one, like a double underline there. And then maybe I want like brackets around this thing maybe brackets so there's some standard formatting that looks a little bit different than what other people might be doing you can make this a little bit larger so it fits on one page wide and then maybe i make the header different so i'm not an expert on formatting and you might make the text a little different but you can do a lot of stuff that you can't really do uh in quickbooks they can just some little tweaks that you'd have to do every time but I can it can make it a little bit more customized so just to give you an example so i'm going to go back up top and then let's do this one by one again the balance sheet and let's say this is going to go from 010123 to 020823 to 02202823 run it and then export it to Excel. This time I'm just going to open it and then copy it over. I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to copy it over. I'm going to just go boom, put my cursor in the triangle, control C or right click and copy. And then I'm going to go into this one and add a new tab. And I'm just going to double click on the tab, call it a balance sheet BS, put it in B1 or select the whole sheet, right click and paste it. Then I'm going to go to the layout and back to the first tab so I could see what happened. S holding control down, scrolling up, and I'll do the same thing. I'm just gonna make this wide enough so it fits there. I'll make this one a little bit thinner. I'm gonna make all of these with an underline, have like this kind of underline. And then and then these ones, I wanna have them have like, like a double underline. I want those to have like a double underline like that. Boom. And this one, did these put an underline? I didn't do it on the bottom half. This one, 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 this one needs a normal underline. And then I can select the whole thing. I put some grid lines on the whole thing. Need some grid lines. Boom. And then I can make the top header like black and white. Do some fancy shamancy. And then when I print this, I can go to the first tab and I can print and I can use my cute PDF printer and then print all the reports on one worksheet. So now it looks a little bit different formatting, but you've got more formatting options. You can, al you can also add text and whatnot in Excel or combine it to Word, you know, to do a more formalized uh, report or customized report if you so choose. Let's do number three. Keep on going with this process. We're going to go from... 010123 to 022823. Run it and then let's export it. Export, open it, and we'll just com continue the process with an income statement report this time. Closing or enabling, selecting the entire sheet, right click and copy, going back on over, adding another tab, double clicking on the tab to below income statement summary. These names don't really matter too much because you're not going to give this to the client. We're going to make a PDF out of it. 
putting my cursor in A1 or selecting the whole sheet and pasting it, checking the, ta the layout to the right, back to the left, widening up, let's holding control, scrolling up to make it a little bit larger, widening up column A so, it, so it's like as wide as the page, let's say. Let's make this one a little less wide. Let's put, I'm gonna select, I'm holding down control to select everything that has an underline on it. And I'm gonna make this kind of underline. And then on the bottom line, I like to have a double underline. And then I'm gonna select the whole thing and put some grid lines around it, grid lines round, and then make the header black and white. Boom. All right, done with that one. Let's go back to the next one. This is the income statement report. Two more to go. And then we have to stop this good times. The good times have to stop sometime, you know. Good times can't go on forever, but they'll be back at some point. And then we're gonna go to the triangle and right click and copy. And then back here, we're gonna say plus button. This is gonna be just a normal income statement, selecting the whole thing. Control paste, bam, holding control, scrolling up a bit, tab to the right or the layout, back. And then I'm gonna expand this one again so it fits and make that one smaller. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here, selecting all the lines that have an underline. And I'm gonna make the underlined lines look like that double underline here, selecting the whole thing, and put some grid lineies, and then we'll do the black and white up top, boom. All right, and then let's do it again two more times. Dos vases, this is the tricky one I have to do for February. It's already pulling up though, it's doing it right. So let's just say that's good, and then I'm going to export it to Excel, open it up, and check it out. And then we'll do our formatting, enable the editing, triangle, control C, back to the other report, plus this is a, what is this? I don't even know. I'm going to paste it first. It's a comparative balance sheet. So it's a BS comparative report. Holding control, scrolling up a bit. View to the right, view to the left. This one's too long this time. So I'm going to have to make this a little bit skinnier this time. Skinnerize, skinnerize. I'm going to get rid of this row altogether. You're not needed. Delete. And then again, I can select this, 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 this 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 and do this kind of underline and then maybe i'm going to select this and the total assets this and do double something like that and why does it have a double total fit oh i messed up this double i don't want the double there I want it there. That's what, that's right. Anyway, something like that. I'm just not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. I'm just, just for example, a sample. And then we'll do the black and white up top, black and white. 